and welcome to Pound Zero weekly weigh-in video for week 14. Yay! Um, I do need to apologise. I did last week say that I was going to redo my format a little bit um, and that way I'll be actually putting up more smaller videos, less longer ones. Um, well that clearly hasn't happened um, and getting this new format up and running is actually taking me a little bit longer than I anticipated. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, I am. I'm up and running now. So over the course of the next week, you will get um, probably more targeted videos um, along with the weekly weigh-in that's every Sunday. Yay for us. And in other big news, um, I now have an Instagram account. Yeah! If you just want to follow this, just random stuff that I don't know, I put up on Instagram at this stage. Uh, link, of course, is in the description below under the link for my Twitter account. Um, so I guess, under the scales. So just to recap, when I started my journey at the beginning of the year, I was 120 kilos or 246.5 pounds. When I weighed in last week, I was 112.3 kilos or 247.5 pounds, which, you know, that's quite impressive so far, I think. Um, this week, of course, I weighed in at 111.5 kilos or 245 pounds. Yay! So I'm actually back to where I was um, a couple of weeks ago when I had a little bit of a little blowout. But I'm back and I'm ready to take the next step back on the wagon all that jazz uh, so my total loss for this week is 800 grams or 1.7 pounds and of course my total loss for the year so far is 8.5 kilos or 18.7 pounds yay <laughs> I suppose in terms of food fails this week it is the Easter week um, it is the Easter weekend. Um, because the question is, have I have I been eating chocolate? Well, I didn't get to 120 kilos by not eating chocolate. And while I'm on a weight loss journey, um, and I do I do take it relatively seriously, life is short, and I'm not going to deny myself the little pleasures, uh, particularly at a time of the year when eating chocolate is encouraged not so much taboo. So um, on that note I am going to have a quick discussion. Now this isn't obviously my recipe for the week. Um, that is that's coming a little bit later. Um, but talking about chocolate during weight loss. Now of course it is very taboo. It's like you don't have these things when you're trying a weight loss plan. You eat healthy, you eat lean, you eat clean, you eat whole foods um, and all that jazz but in all honesty chocolate can actually help you lose weight. It's the type of chocolate that you need to have. So this is me trying to help you feel a little bit better about our Easter choices because I guarantee if you're watching this you're, you're here with me. Um, so dark chocolate, dark chocolate and the, the bitterer, the bitterer, more bitter, the more bitter, the better. That said, okay, so let, let's just kind of go on, on this little journey. Chocolate, dark chocolate is, is a stress busting waste whittler. You do need to be picky about the type of chocolate that you have, at least try to be picky about the type of chocolate you have. Um, benefits of eating chocolate while you are on a diet carefully eating chocolate while you're on a diet, it cuts cravings. Um, it does seem a little counterintuitive, but to help you take control of your cravings, you kind of need to indulge them just a little, just a little. 
Um, a little sweet treat on occasion can help you crack those cravings and just keep them in check for the longer term. Chocolate has been known to decrease body fat. Isn't this what we're after? Thanks to certain flavonols that exist in dark chocolate, the sweet treat has been known to help lower blood sugar and also decrease body fat, um, according to the American Chemical Society's Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry. That's a mouthful if ever I heard one. Uh, flavanols are plant-based nutrients. I do have notes up on my screen, clearly. Um, that are more prevalent in dark chocolate than in milk chocolate. So this is why the dark chocolate is, is a preference. Um, of course, and too much of anything, even if it's a good anything, can lead to weight gain. So moderation. We, we hear it all the time, in moderation, most certainly. Um, probably a way to maintain portion control is maybe get individually wrapped chocolates and then you can have put two aside. I personally get do get the block of um, lint chocolate and I have two squares. That's it. Um, that's, that's my chocolate every other day. But I do thoroughly enjoy um, it. Dark chocolate can control or help control appetite. Uh, dark chocolate actually contains quite a bit of fiber which helps keep your appetite in check um, and of course increases the feeling of being full after a meal. Why, why would you not eat it at this point? Of course the dark chocolate that we're talking about is of course 70% um, dark chocolate or above. Um, and that should contain about 16% of your daily dietary fiber intake. Who knew? Yes. Hey, I'm making, I'm making reasonable excuses to help us all eat chocolate. I'm like, I love this vlog. Um, of course, chocolate reduces stress. Of course it does. This is why we eat it when we get stress triggers. It's, um... Uh, stress triggers weight gain because it causes cortisol levels to, to spike in our brains and of course which increases our appetite. Um, encourage, this, this encourages emotional eating. I don't know why I'm getting so excited. It's chocolate. I know why I'm getting excited. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so actually uh, where am I going with this? So the cortisol level spike, it increases our appetite, it increases our emotional eating. So then we go, mm, we start making poor choices. Dark chocolate will sate a lot of these, these uh, it will sate the stress, it will decrease the, the whole appetite thing, making us feel full. And of course, it helps prevent overeating. Chocolate, chocolate's amazing. Um, reduces inflammation. When your body is inflamed, it experiences problems at the cellular level. I'm starting to sound like a neutral bullet ad. Um, chronic inflammation has not only been linked to heart disease and cancer and diabetes, but it also has been found to increase insulin resistance and interfere with feelings of hunger and metabolism regulating hormones. Uh, munching on a bit of dark chocolate in moderation can help prevent and repair the cellular damage that has been caused by the inflammation because of, back to the flavanols, because of the flavanols in the cocoa contain anti-inflammatory properties. Yes. This is probably why we also crave chocolate when we get sick, or at least I do. So, um, <laughs> with those in mind, of course, like I said before, I actually tend, myself, I go for the lint the link chocolate and because the darker and the more bitter the better the chocolate is so I tend to go for the dark chocolate that has the um, mint flavoring through it so it is super dark chocolate it is bitter but the mint just kind of takes the edge off that bitterness um, so I'm still getting all the benefits and of course I am only having two squares every other night not every night um, and of course it is quality chocolate too so 
I can't complain. Oh, I just did a plug. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> Lint chocolate. Um, hopefully you will feel a little bit better about your chocolate consumption. Of course, milk chocolate will contain some of what we discussed, but it is higher in sugar and of course it's got all the milk solids and um, all the rest of it that actually weaken the effects of, or the beneficial effects of chocolate. Of course, if you do feel like getting a little bit of chocolate into your system and you need it, perhaps lean towards the dark side. So that's it from me for another week. Uh, you may have noticed that this week uh, there isn't a favourite recipe. Um, that's not to say I haven't recorded one, I just thought adding it to this video was actually going to make it a bit lengthy, so I'm going to make it its own video. <sighs> Keep an eye out for that. Um, now, of course, if you like what you've seen in the video, of course, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you're new to this channel and you like what you've seen, please hit the subscribe button uh, below somewhere down there. Um, <clears throat> and of course, feel free to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, links are in the description below. And of course, I've included a few websites uh, about the whole benefits of chocolate, especially when you're on a weight loss plan, just in case there's some people out there who don't believe me. Trust me. Trust me. Would I lead you astray? <laughs> uh, so until next time, be healthy and be good to each other. Bye.